Hey, what's up guys? I'm just adjusting the camera. Sorry about this. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Oh shoot, that's upside down. Well, that's the problem. All right, there we go. Okay, there's like some stuff kind of blocking the view. I usually don't have problems like this. I just did something stupid with my phone. Okay, I'm just gonna have to take a piece. Just it. That's gonna fall. Um, okay. Okay, so this is actually my phone stand, if you're wondering. So, I don't think anyone's ever seen this before, but basically, I just, um, just doing weird stuff. There we go, that's normal. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is. Try and get that a little bit higher up. So here's the instructions I'm working with. I'm building a TIE fighter, as you can see. Let me pull up the chat. Let's see. Hey, Vision Bricks. Cam All-Star Bricks. Welcome. Lego Star Wars Pro. Um, very cool uh, profile picture, dude. Like it. Lego tripod. Ball. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, crappy tripod version. What's up, Spidney Official? Cam All-Star Bricks. Hey, Vision Bricks. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, thanks for joining the stream. We're gonna start building in a second. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird how basically I'm doing a split screen. So, cause I, I have the instructions pulled up here. This is from Brick Vault, if you're curious. And um, yeah, I'm basically gonna get, uh, start building it. This is the Tie Fighter. Look how awesome this is. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the parts list. I basically went through all this through my collection. And unfortunately, there was a few things I wasn't able to, like, uh, find. Because I did a huge brick link. This is all the parts that uh, that beast uh, needed. I'm going to actually dump these all out now. Just to show you guys how many parts there actually are. I saw the black. I'm probably going to use the black later on, so I'll kind of push it to the side. Here is uh, the gray. Let's try this out. Yeah, it's a bit messy, but at least we get to see me help me building here, so that's cool. And yeah, you can also see yourselves in the chat if that makes you satisfied with yourselves. Okay, let's okay, let's read the chat. Um, I'll be building while I watch. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Star Wars Bricks Productions, cool to see you. I know like some people wanted me to stream in the afternoon, so this is more of a coincidence. But um, yeah, I ended up doing that anyway. Uh. Hey, Half Brick Films, what are you building? I'll pull up to show you guys real quick. Uh, this is what I'm going to be building. This It's the Brick Vault TIE Fighter. The, it came out a while ago, but I'm just building it now. So, But I'm so excited to build this. You're going to see just how quality this, this build is. Because this is like a mock. It's Think of like a Lego set, but like like perfected, essentially. Like, you know, there's going to be no studs, extra colors... Like, here is the TIE Fighter. This is the set TIE Fighter that I built recently on the stream. And it, it's pretty poor, I have to say. And it's going to be a perfected version of this. So, I, I mean, I kind of destroyed my other TIE Fighter, but maybe we'll do a comparison of the two at the end. I also have the first order one, so we can do that too. Um, yeah, I missed like six streams. I think I lost my mod. No problem, though. Great to be here. Oh, yeah, you might have. Yeah, I think a lot of people might have lost their mod. I think I, Drink Tea might still be a mod, but um, I think I might have taken that. When is the next mock? Great question. All right, so if, okay, so if, if you're asking for when is the next uh, mock series, that's going to be coming up. I want to, like, if this makes sense, I want to, like, do, like, film two segments ahead of schedule just in case, like, I don't fall behind. So when I release the first segment, I'm going to, like, already be building more ahead of it. But I've already, like, 
I've, I've already like gone through the plan. I just need to like make a video on it and release it. And that's probably gonna be next Saturday or the Saturday afterwards. So two weeks or, and I'll be making the announcement video about that eventually. Once I've made like the first or two um, segments of it. But um, as for mocks, I've actually made two mocks already. I need to make videos on them. Probably after I do this stream, I'll, I'll do something like that. Cause I haven't really done much lately. But I, I haven't done much on YouTube, but I've been building a lot, if, if that makes sense to you. Um, you have some pretty cool Star Wars mocks, um, so I subscribe. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. If I'm here for a few more streams. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, Rebo Bricks? Good to see you, man. Star Wars Reconstruction is a cool channel, I'll sub to you. Yeah, he does have a cool channel. He made a nice uh, Snoke's front room mock. And a nice, uh, what, did you make a Coruscant mock? No, no, it wasn't Coruscant, it was uh, Corellia. They're, they're kind of similar, you know, if you think about it. Uh, so fine. <coughs> All right, so flip this over. The cool thing about this is like, for like getting pieces, it's it's only like a few colors, so that is kind of convenient. Jackhammer eating a transport, blue stud in Lego Rewind 2019. Uh, maybe what? Who's Jackhammer? Is is that like? Don't know him. He sounds. He doesn't sound like a Lego YouTuber. He sounds like just like a, like a YouTuber, to be honest. Hey, what's up, uh, Build Up? Welcome to the stream. Is the music at a good volume for you guys, or should I turn it up? Jackhammer is a close friend of me and a phenomenal mock builder. I might have heard of him somewhere. He builds modules. Oh, okay. Sweet. So we ate a Lego piece. There's music. All right, I'll turn it up. Yeah, if you can't, if you don't even know there's music, then that's definitely too quiet. Yeah, mostly modulars. Oh, that's cool. Um, if you guys know this guy, I think his name is like Mr. Bookie Boo or something. He he's on Instagram, but like he does modular custom modulars, and he did a, a, like a Star Wars modular building. I thought that was pretty nice. Seven K subscribers. It was a live stream for fifty for fifty views. YouTubers do crazy stuff, dude. Crazy stuff. That's the brick fault Tie Fighter, right? Yes, it is. And I can't wait. I'm probably gonna make a video just on this Tie Fighter and like show you guys what I think about it because it's looking pretty fine. It's. It's great. Um, okay, so add, but I can't tell you guys how much of a pain it was to find stuff. Like this piece on Bricklink is like two dollars, and uh, I'm not buying any more of these. So unfortunately, I don't have enough of those. So there's like a few parts I'm actually missing, and it, and it happens to be like the very important piece, like this color. I need it in light bluish gray. So this, who knows how much this costs? Like a dollar, two dollars, but like. Finding that is going to be very hard, so that will be tricky for me. Uh, what did you think of my Citadel? I didn't see your comment on the vid. Oh, that was a that was a good set. I think I think it was that it actually made it onto Warload Legos page. And uh, congrats on that. Like, I really like the interior too. That was that was nice building. It's very very nice. Probably, probably my favorite mock you've actually done, I would say. Definitely. The Citadel. Two dollars for one piece? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all. It could be a dollar, two dollars. Um, yeah, it's, it's sad, honestly. So, I, I don't really want to buy it, so I'm, I might, like, make a compromise somehow, like... 
there's a few rare pieces because you know brick vault they they go kind of overboard with their stuff like they want it to be as accurate as possible so like they'll go the extra mile like spend twice as much to get like the perfect piece and stuff so yeah i i can't do that i don't have the leisure so yeah yeah no problem like a star wars pro look at previous comment yeah um if i'm here for a few more a uh, few more i'll get my monsters back if i'm not probably just won't now i asked yeah asking does not really uh help get you that but uh yeah, if you show up a lot, I mean, you'll get it, so. 800 subs, I kept saying, is is when I'll make another mod, so that's that's coming up. We might not, we might even uh, hit it on the stream, so stay tuned for that. Now, if there's one negative thing about building with this everything with the same color is it's kind of hard to find the piece. So that is a big, that's kind of a downside, actually. Come on, where is it? It's it's, a, it's a, this piece if you're wondering what it is. Re. <laughs> hey, what's up, Real Logo Man Productions? Good to see you, man. Um, saw your recent mock. I thought it was pretty good. Gotta go. Happy I could say hi. Smash the like button. The rest of you should too. Yep, you heard you heard it from Half Brick Films himself or herself. Smash that like button, boys. Yep, here it is. All right, on the step four. Let's go. Okay, so we just attach these onto each other. I'm missing some. Ooh, look at that, wait. Look at that, that's some upside down building over here. That is pretty smooth, I have to say. Put it like that. Bye everyone. All right. How I always think about it is trying to be a mod, like say welcome, and you'll get mods. So, like, well, <laughs> the brick fault goes something I would really like, but I'll never actually have. I isn't that so true? Like for the Millennium Falcon, also the UCS one. Like I was actually at the Lego store, didn't buy anything, but just looking at stuff. Uh, like two days ago, and I was just like, wow, that thing is amazing. But like I I don't really have room for it either, to be honest. So I think it's a good thing I, I don't have it. To be honest, I think okay. So I, this is like an older video, but like I I basically just customized the the playset one, the Force Awakens one, and like I'm I'm so happy with it because the UCS one you're never gonna be able to put that in a mock unless you're going overboard. So so you know I think it works out pretty well. Um, let's see. Hey everyone, your castle is so much better than Matt's, at least uh, my opinion. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. I um, make sure you're Sky Galactic if you're new to the channel. Thanks for that sub. Yeah, about Matt's uh, castle lock, it was definitely like a lot different than mine. Like, um, there are things I liked. Like he, he did like a phenomenal like he did like very phenomenal scale. Like it was like, a huge scale. I did like the interior and like the, the inside was very nice in my opinion, but the rock work was, wasn't that good in my opinion. I think it's just cause I made mine like a lot, a lot more crazier and that's tend, tend to be what I do with my mocks and make it like a lot crazier than it should be. Like just doing random like crazy stuff. He, he kind of did more basic stuff, which I mean, it's fine, but yeah, I do kind of agree with you. Like I think my rock work looked better than his to be honest. I mean, I thought I liked his um, cinematic video though. It was good. He's really good at filming that kind of stuff. Make sure you hit the like button. That's right. By the way, guys, I need to add Nightbot. I keep forgetting to do that. Nightbot, Nightbot. I'll need a new house or at least a new room to store the UCS Falcon. Yeah, I I agree with you. It's true. I'm six subs from a hundred. So excited! Oh, that's awesome, dude. Hitting a hundred is awesome. Hitting a thousand is even better, and then hitting a million, that's that's never gonna happen. But yeah. <laughs> Loved your Kessel mock, thanks. I'm hoping the next mock almost said what it was. Um I'm hoping it's gonna be just as good or it will be better. 
and I think I might be able to do it. So I really can't wait to start working on it. It's going to be the after the TIE Fighter thing. That's that's what I'm going to be working on. And yeah, I can't wait to get um, back into building a huge mock. It's it's like so fun. It kind of drains your energy, but I, I love it. So. So, yeah. I think Matt's rock work looked very incomplete with no top. Yeah, that, that was... Okay, so it looked incomplete and, like, the colors... The colors didn't look that natural, you know? It looked kind of forced the way he did it. But, I mean... I think he said that was, like, the first time he did... No, he did he did Crate before. I think the, the rock work he did for Crate was a lot better, in my opinion. I think he put more effort into that, that one. He was probably like, oh, man, rock work again. I'm not... I'm not putting up with this. To be fair, that's probably what I would have done too. So, yeah. Um, you taking your Castle Mock to Brick Fiesta? Uh, yeah, I plan to do it because, um, yeah, I plan I plan to take it. It's essentially like for me, like because I'm going to Brick Fiesta, at least for this year, and um, the way I, I saw it was. Just in case I didn't finish the future mock or whatever, I'd still have something to take. So I'll be taking Kessel at least and maybe like a few small things. And if the, and um, we'll see how it goes, but the future mock also. I have to say, these instructions are like really good for online. They did a good job of them. Greville, I agree. I think Matt and Jay's next mock will be Tavern or some sort of Clone Wars mock. Yeah, probably with like the new Clone Wars stuff coming out or something like that. What did I just do? Okay. Matt is probably the Season 7 Clone Wars place planet. What do you guys think David's mock is going to be? He has, he's been pretty quiet on his next thing. I think it's going to be Episode 9. I think it's a pretty safe bet because he did Rogue One and Crate, so that's. I mean, it's a. I mean, it's a safe bet. Fort and Axis. Never heard of that place. <laughs> Probably a Clone Wars planet. Very obscure one. All right, let's get on step ten. Hello there, MPM Brick Studios. Good to see you, dude. Welcome, God of Bricks. Like your channel name. When did he reboot bricks? Um, Matt confirmed it's a Clone Wars mock. He did make a video. I didn't see the video, but he did like do an announcement video. In an old Kessel video. Oh, really? And the legend is here. Hey, what's up, Craig Ricks? Did you check my Imperial Nightmare mock out, bro? I don't think I have. There's like so many Imperial mocks these days that people have made. It's kind of hard to keep track. <laughs> I'll just like just at the end of a stream just comment like when it's done and I'll, I'll be sure to check it out Of your infinity war bring me Thanos mock. I really made a large scale armor for the upper part of a con battle. It took me 10 months and over 4k bricks dang Yeah, I did like your um Infinity War mock, that was nice. Uh, I've never done Rocky Cliffs and stuff for real physical Lego bricks because they don't have enough. Usually just do it on LDD. Dude, that sounds horrible. Rock work? Like, okay, so like rock work, like just doing it like with actual bricks, it's, it's kind of, it can be like tedious, like depending on how well you want it to be. But then like doing it on LDD, that's like a whole new level of um, patience required to do that. Jeez. Thanks, man. I'll check it out. Hey, Lego Man Productions. Nobody seems to make Imperial Moxa. Really? I mean, that's that's like all I really do, to be honest. Okay, not okay. So I'll clarify that. Not necessarily just Imperial Mox, but I'll do I'll do anything that's of the uh, original trilogy slash like the spinoffs, Rogue One and. Han Solo movie, like, in that era, that's, that's my era, that's, that's the Star Wars that I like the most, to be honest, 
And it's also like the stuff I have the most figures for, so it kind of works out that way. Well, I didn't reveal it yet. I'll be, it'll be real with April 26th, the release of Endgame. Oh, sweet. Can't wait to see that, dude. Alright, so like the worst thing doing in this is searching for a printed piece like this. Hmm. Where did it go? Alright guys, excited for Avengers Endgame. Um I'm not I'm not a huge Avengers fan, so I'm not I'm not like going crazy for it or anything, to be honest. Ah, there we go, we found it. So this is gonna be like the interior of the build. It's looking pretty nice. And uh, it goes there. So that's reason since my laptop will die after a while with me having went on a little bit and it takes ages for it to charge. Do you charge while using the laptop? That's usually what I do. If I'm like streaming or something. I'll make sure you subscribe to that's right. Heck yeah, Real Productions. Big Marvel fan. Yeah, we got some Marvel fans in the chat. Galactic Bricks, do you have Instagram? Uh yes I do. It's it's in the description of the stream and all videos, but um if for some reason you can't find it, it's just just type in galactic underscore bricks underscore official. Or galactic bricks, they'll probably show up also. And uh, I, I haven't been I haven't been active at all on Instagram, but I, I promise like with these new mocks I'm gonna like be posting on YouTube. I'll be active on there again. So yeah. Hey, I just arrived. Where's this mock from? Uh, what's up, legit builder? Um, this is a tie. It's gonna be a tie fighter when I'm finished with it. Um, it's it's the brick vault tie fighter. I don't know if you've heard about it, but um, they make custom. Well, they they don't make custom. Well, they make instructions for custom builds. And you can like buy them and make them. And so this is like the one for the tie fighter, and it's it's probably the best tie fighter like out there. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm building at the moment. Just followed it. Hey, thanks, man. Could always use a follower. I found it kind of funny how, like, I, I like, never really tried on Instagram. I just, like, casually, like, posted and stuff. Hit, one, hit 1K, like, really quickly. And then, like, took YouTube, like, pretty seriously. And, like, not even at, not at 1K yet. I just found that kind of funny. I guess, like, on Instagram, it's easier to grow, maybe. Shoutouts definitely help on Instagram, that's for sure. How many pieces is it? Uh, good question. I, my guess would be about 800 pieces, like 600 to 800 pieces. So like similar to the similar to the Tie Fighter set, but maybe like a bit more, just because it's such a quality set and all that. Uh, let's see.
Where's the instruction link, please? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I probably should have put a link in there. Uh, just... Okay, so, um... Yeah, instruction link. If you type if you type in Brickball, if you go on Brickball's channel, you, you'll be able to find it. Um, just... Brickball.toys brickball .toys if you want to find the instructions. It's I think it's kind of expensive though, just just so you know. For just for instructions. Um Nice. Have you seen the Repo yeah, I saw I saw the Republic Gunship. I, I really love their channel, to be honest. I I'll admit I only watch the Star Wars content, but um it's, it's like so nice the ships. I, I can't obviously I'm not gonna buy all of them. But I figured I'd do it the TIE Fighter and maybe like the TIE Bomber. If, if, uh, this turns out well, I guess. Yeah. How much did you spend on the parts? Oh man. Uh it was a, it was a, it was it's pretty expensive. I, I think it was like over a hundred dollars, but I don't remember. Something like that. It's it's pretty pricey to be honest, but is it worth it? I th I think it is if you if if let's say okay, so let's say like the build has eight eight hundred pieces. If you can pay a hundred hundred ish dollars for it, I think it's I think it's worth it. But just be aware that like there's gonna be some parts on here that are very pricey, like like um this piece for example. That's gonna be like a dollar at least, which is crazy. Um, wait, let's see. Sorry if you already answered, but I had to leave for a moment. Oh, okay. Brick Vault, yeah. Me and I, Zavagoob, are going to do a collab this summer in Denmark. Oh, sweet. Dude, I've, I've always wanted to, like, visit Europe and just, I don't know, go to Denmark, Switzerland, you know, like, I don't know, sounds cool. Denmark, the capital of Lago. Better be hyped. Yeah, I'll be hyped for it, dude. Are you Danish? Um, you'll see. Nope. But I'm visiting Denmark for a couple days. That's pretty cool, yeah. Didn't you say, like, you're... You're like living in Spain at the moment or something. It's pretty cool. The only place I've been in Europe would be Russia. And uh, I went to London a few times, like twice or something, but that's like it. I've really, I've really been, I haven't really been to Europe. Colder. Yeah, I bet it's like freezing there. Maybe I should get up to Denmark too. Yeah, we should all do we should all do a collab there. I was like thinking like what if everybody in like let's say Empire Log or just just like a group of builders made a massive just a massive mock like and it could be like anything, like just a massive Death Star or Massive Tatooine or something like that'd be so cool. Like everyone has like a little part like you put it all together at the end. That'd be pretty satisfying. I'm living in Spain currently, but I'm from Russia. Oh cool. Yeah, at my school we ha we actually have a few um exchange students from Austria and Germany. So that's very cool. Now do it. Oh yeah, by the way, this piece is also super expensive. Oh man. Actually, um and it's also really hard to get. Um I was looking for this piece and these actually just came from the, a crate set that I destroyed. So I I couldn't even find these on Bricklink cuz people like people who like build this tie fighter probably all, like took all the, took all the ones available. I've been the floor. That's about it. 
Yeah, dude, I've been to Florida like five times. It's Florida's nice. I like it. Um, nice beaches and stuff. What's this music like? The sound? Uh, I typed in. It's like it's it's instrumental uh, rap beats, basically. Honestly, I like this. Like, like I try to switch up the music and stuff. So like, um, yeah, I just like look for random stuff. Don't even like listen to it beforehand. So I kind of don't really know what it's gonna be like. To be honest, so yeah. Um, call up with every single Lego Star Wars YouTuber would be freaking epic. I know, right? Like, imagine like, like a space battle collab or something like that. That'd be, that'd be great. I'd love it. Um. Does somebody play Battlefront 1 any longer? Uh, I do not. I don't even play Battlefront 2 anymore, to be honest. It's it's not it's not that um, fun anymore. Like, So, like, there'll be, like, a new map they put out. I'll play it, like, twice, and I'll be like, all right, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah. I wish in Battlefront 2 the story was longer, but I also wish... Um, there was like a mode called like, it was like called Galactic Conquest or something like that. And basically like you've got like a map and like you just, it's kind of like a story mode, but like it's, it's not like you can play it multiple times and you just like conquer territories or something. And it's like very like free space, like open. That'd be cool. Um, 16 hour drive where, I, where I'm from. Yeah. It's a long drive too. Thankfully, like we, we sometimes fly, so we don't have to drive that far. What it, when is your next mock? Um, well, man, my next large mock, I'll be announcing that either like this week or next week. But I promise, guys, I know a lot of you guys want to know what it is, so um, I'll announce it soon. I promise. This is like a very intricate, um, steering wheel they put into this. It's like very fragile. Jeez. Here's an interesting question. What got you into Lego and YouTube? Okay, uh, yeah, good question. So, honestly, I was like always in the Lego. Not in the Star Wars, I was in the city stuff. And then, um, David Hall of all people, like, so I was like probably like, I was like watching like a Star Wars video or something. And then out of nowhere, just one of David Hall's Scarif segments pops up. And I'm just like, oh, this looks awesome. Let me watch it. I just like fell in love with Star Wars, right? Lego Star Wars after that. And um, yeah, just one thing led to another. And I made a YouTube channel after that for like building mocks and stuff. And yeah, so David Hall. I have to thank you for my channel. What's up, Ross Brick Productions? Don't know if I've seen you before, but uh, welcome to the stream. Does someone know how to make a custom thumbnail at least then uh, less than a thousand subscribers? Because I don't know how to. Uh, custom thumbnail. You're gonna need like Photoshop or something, or you have to like crop it. Um, there's probably tutorials on YouTube if if you're not sure how to do it too. Where is this piece? Where? Oh, where is this piece? Uh, what's up? Hi, great tougher. Have fun. Welcome, Edge of Bricks. Welcome, Inferno Lug. That is a cool profile picture, dude. I've been watching your videos for a while, just not commenting. Oh, okay. That's cool. Battlefront 2 is not like a shooter somehow. When you get shot, you just get to know this after a few seconds. So, I mean, there's a delay between you get hit and you actually get moved. So, it's impossible to get out of the crossfire. 
First, like a YouTuber I watched was Lego Productions. I was it was like a Star Wars Republic Defense Fortress mock. Nice. Lego Buff Productions, like, I haven't heard from him at all. Is he, like, in college or something? Because that would explain, like, why he does, like, he, like, occasionally will post, like, five things in, like, two weeks and then nothing. Man, this is, like, so unnecessary, unnecessarily, um... Yeah, what is wrong? Okay. Like, look how intricate this thing is. It's so delicate. It's gonna, like, break the slightest touch. Six more off milestone. Today bought Star Killer base dual set. Um, oh nice. What do you think? What do you think of the set? Is that Inferno lug? Yes, it is. Um, I'm sorry, I have to leave by then. All right, thanks for joining Cray Bricks. Uh, have a good day, dude. And this thing is like giving me anxiety looking at this. Basically, like a Star Wars Pro with my log account. <laughs> $7.94. Oh, yeah, we got a sub. Thank you for ever subscribed. Uh, cool info. I joined the Discord the other day. You saw something. By the way, the beta log Discord server is like so dead. I don't know what's going on. Major, uh, major rip. Cause I like I I finished my part of the collab. I I think I'm supposed to post soon. So hopefully the collab's still going or something. Just need a few more good mocks. Using college. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I like staring at the black pile bricks. Have you have you counted how many are how many there are? I'll be impressed if you if you got it correct. Uh. What are we doing with this? What on earth? Oh, okay, this is like the seat. Look how crazy that is. Wow. This thing is hella fancy, man. So these are like the, like the, um, blasters. Rip beta log, please, no problem, no. Beta, beta log, Indiana Jones club is gonna be like, yeah, one. I need to like go back on Discord and check it because I'm supposed to release it. I hope I like, I didn't like miss the deadline or something because like I'm ready to post it. Um, let's see, ooh, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> Challenge accepted, I guess, build up. Anyway, how you doing Galactic? I'm doing pretty good. Like this, this set is like so fun to build, actually. I know it's pretty intricate. Okay, um, that's pretty funny. But this, oh, okay, they show how to build. It. I was like, wow, that's you're gonna tell me just put that on like without telling me how to build it. Okay, so sorry for everyone uh, who was counting the black bricks. I'm sorry if I'm gonna mess this up. Okay, um. But yeah, I plan to apply for Inferno Lug. How many lugs are you in Galactic Bricks? Right now I'm only in Beta Lug, but um, yeah, I I don't know if I'm like too active to join another lug, but honestly I might leave Beta Lug and join another lug. Cause I don't know, but like in Beta Lug it's it's like I'm, almost, I'm like basically not even in a lug because we don't do anything. But the Indiana Jones collab will be lit, so hopefully that, that still goes on, because I'm looking forward to it. Paul, <laughs> I thought you were an Empire Lug. I'm not an Empire Lug, but, um... I should probably join it, honestly. 
It's a good, it's a good lug, I think. They're like, everyone's like really active. That'd be like sad though, if like, right when I join, everyone just like, like the lug just like dies or something. <laughs> okay, where is that last piece? All right, we finished the chair, boys. Ooh, I mean, this is actually an illegal technique. Look at this. Oh, gosh. How do you... You put it that way? I feel like I'm going to break the piece. Yeah, I almost broke the piece. Um, I doing something wrong? This doesn't feel right. Yeah, I'm gonna break a piece if I do this. Oh man. They really expect you to do that? That's horrible. That's definitely illegal. I guarantee you that is illegal. Building technique. Looks awesome though, so. Get points back for that. Back on the other account. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't think about joining it. Yeah, I think it's a good. I think it's a good lug to join. Probably it's better than Rebel Lug too, because Rebel Lug's not really. Rebel Lug's like beta lug at this point. Do you plan on making any more of Brick Vault's mocks? Uh, to be uh, to be honest, I might make another. Uh, might make a Tie Bomber. I don't think I'll make another Tie Fighter because. Uh, it just takes up so many pieces. Like, it's crazy, crazy expensive. So, I don't think I'll do another TIE Fighter. Like, I think one's good enough. I don't really see my like see where I would have to put two TIE Fighters. Full-size TIE Fighters in a mock, so. Yeah. I guess maybe, like, I, if I wanted to have, like, Darth Vader's ship with two fighters, two TIE Fighters, that'd be nice. But, like, that's, what, that's like, really it. Um, but, yeah. I can see on the top layer, 82 black bricks. Dang, dude. That's pretty impressive. It honestly looks like more than 82, though. If you just said top layer. Hmm. I'm building a custom tie advanced prototype because no one really had before. <laughs> okay, you, you're racing Brick Vault to beat them at that. It's nice. Brick Vault's mocks are really good, even if I don't really like the channel. Yeah, I, honestly, I only watch the channel because of the Star Wars mocks and the Yavin 4 thing they're making. That's that's really it. I don't really like... I'm not really, like, um, into the reviews and all that. Like, yeah. I'm curious to see how fragile this is, cause like when they when they go for like appearance over like stability, it tends to get really delicate. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna turn out. All right, so we're supposed to connect connect this now. Connect that. All right, so I just push that on. Wow, that's smooth. Look at that. That's that's looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, wait. Okay, so two here. Yeah, but yeah, I need to improve my mocks first as some are lacking. Isn't Brick Vault's mocks because Brick Vault didn't make them all? Yeah, it it, it isn't Brick Vault, it's other designers, but they make they make the instructions. Which is what you buy from them. Um I applied to Empire Log two times and got rejected twice. Ah, dude, that sucks. Fur fur tries the charm, I guess. Hello there, General Kenobi. Hey Jambrick. Uh Oh no, no, it, um, you move them. Now that you move them around, I've lost count. Sorry about that. If they're not looking for new members at this moment. 
Yeah, but like, they have a ton of members already. That's true. They might, yeah, they might be like um, running, running out of space. Yeah, Empire Log is probably pretty hard. You have to be like super active, I bet, too. Same thing, it's like, Empire Log is like the same thing, but for, for Rebel Log, just not as big yet. And, um, very active. That's like the only difference. So, if I was to join one of them, I'd obviously choose Empire Log. Going to try and apply for credit click. I spoke to Chicken Bricks earlier and told me how to apply and stuff. Where did you get the instructions? Uh, what's up, Global Bricks? Uh, BrickVaultToys.com. I should have put it in the description, but uh, yeah, you have to you have to buy them. But um, I think it's I think it's worth it. Where is the other brick I'm looking for? Wada boom. Man, this, I, you probably guys probably don't have a good view of this, but the interior of this, of this uh, TIE fighter is stunning. It's like such a good texture. But um, one thing I will say about the build so far is like, it is a bit fragile while you're building it. So just, just as a heads up, I guess, um, it could probably break pretty easily. Are lugs made just for mock builders? Uh, kind, pretty much, yeah. It's like for collabs and stuff like that. I'm active, just feel like my mocks need to be better at all. Yeah, activity, but activity will make you better, so don't worry too much. Long time no see. Is this a first order TIE fighter or Imperial TIE fighter? Uh, this is an Imperial one. They do have the first order one also, which is like the same thing, but opposite colors. see can't wait to see it done yeah same this this is gonna be my favorite one of my favorite mocks i'm gonna have now because i like i really don't do vehicle mocks so like this is like pretty nice for a, a change Done. Brick Vault is far too focused on the accuracy. Yeah, they really, they really do go above and beyond. Which I mean, it's kind of nice though, because like you'll get a lot of mock builders, kind of like me, who are like, "All right, we'll be accurate, but we're not gonna like kill it." So it's, it's kind of nice at the same time, because it's like, you know, this is the very best, the best you can make it with Lego. So it's, I mean, I, like, I mean, I applaud them for the effort, because I'm not gonna do it. <laughs>
No, lug just stands for like user group. Most are focused on locks, but don't have to be. It's just a term for group of lug fans. Yeah, but like, I really can't think of many people that. Well, actually, there are a few people, but almost everyone's a mock builder. Star Wars mock builder, too, I might add. Man, I think I might be missing one piece. Shoot. I, I think I have more of them, so that's not the end of the world. Searching for a one by one plate in this massive pile of bricks is not the best thing in the world. Uh, what's up, Brave Soldier? Welcome to the stream, dude. Technically, like, Jarek used his on the wings is, yes. It is the best, best, um, design I've seen. It's, like, so clever. I, I love it. Um, first of all, it's making a good mock and making 100% accurate. Yeah, I agree. Like, if you make it 100% accurate, it, it probably won't look that good aesthetic, like, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, really like your lightsaber test video. Um, thanks. Jammer Sphinx. I'm starting to have more variety for themes of mock on my channel as I've hit a medieval mock and I'm currently building a Fallout mock. Yeah, branching out is is always good. I've I've like I'm starting to do some like Indiana Jones mocks and uh, I think it's I think it's good to branch out a bit, you know. Probably like, but I'm probably still like always gonna stick with Star Wars. That's just what I I do best, I guess. What are you building? Um, probably, I'm um, probably a bit hard to tell from what, what this looks like, but it's actually gonna be a TIE fighter. So like this, is like the body I made. This is like the cockpit. You can see like all the details, stuff. Pretty nice. What camera are you using? Uh, well, I'm actually just using my phone for the live stream, but I usually use a Canon EO5, I think. It's, I just use a Canon camera. It's, it's, I don't know the spe specification, specialized name for it. Uh, gotta go see you, dude. Why well, said GTA at first? I, I, I don't think I've seen anyone do a GTA 5 mock. That's, that'd be funny. That'd be really funny. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, the interior is looking good. Yeah, the, the interior... The best thing about um, custom mocks, like Jarex, Ties, and all that, is it's always, like, the interior stuff, because they put so much, like, effort into it. It's nice. Gotta appreciate it. I think I might have made a small error with this because Yeah, I think because this one has two studs, so I might have made a mistake real, real quick with that. Then, oops, you guys.
Um, let's see. Yeah, they put friends lipstick pieces for the red lights and the engines of the TIE Fighter. Really? I didn't know they... That's a cool design, actually. Okay, I hope this is right. Okay, good. It's, it's like, so, I don't know if you guys know this, but whenever you're looking for this piece, you're always like... You always like make sure it's not that other one. Gets annoying. All right, on to next step five. Do you think April Lego um, Star Wars Wave are overpriced? Yes, I I do. And like it's it's like a pattern. Like it's just getting worse and worse. At, to be honest, nothing. The quality is not really getting better. It's just getting more expensive, which is a shame. But I, I did like the the ones with like the blue and red targets. I thought that was kind of cool. Probably won't get any of those sets at this point. At this point, like I'm really just getting pieces. Like I, I have enough minifigures for mocks. And yeah. How much was the bricks? I think it was like it was more than a hundred dollars, but it wasn't that much more, so it was kind of expensive. Some of the parts, like like parts, like getting like a bunch of these, is kind of expensive and stuff. So I wasn't too surprised uh, by the price. Add. <laughs> That'd be funny if we got copyrighted for that. Just a random ad popping up. There's in my blood. Attach this on. It's great. You know, one thing that's gonna be annoying about this set is like how delicate it is the, like, oh man, it is very fragile. But yeah, here's the interior. A uh, little update. Been pretty smooth though. I can see. Put this on. You can like really start to see the shape on it. Jonas Bowes Bricks. Hey, what's up, Jonas? more subs again than 100 sub the lock of bricks if you're new or more sweet so because we were at 93 when we started so getting free subs already that's that's awesome thank you guys so much and yeah if we, if we do it 800 on the stream there we'll definitely like make a new mod so stay tuned i guess but yeah i am loving this set this is this is amazing Amazing set. It it was an absolute pain to get all these pieces, but when you can finally just sit down 
and build it, it's it's really um, satisfying. Yeah. Two words, glass case. For for like the set. Okay, I I I don't think I love it that much. Um, but yeah. Um, San says neat. Uh, thank you, dude. Congrats, Galacticrix, you deserve it. Thank you, Vision Bricks. Really appreciate it. Hi, how's everyone doing? Ah, doing great, dude. Uh, what's up, Everent? Is that your name? Probably mispronounced it. Building a custom lock for some, from someone is a more amazing experience than building a set from Lego. It really is true, because like, because like, mock builders, you know, they, with Lego sets, they usually go with like, you know, they usually go with like, you know, basic patterns or, and stuff like that. But a mock builder, you know, it'll go the extra step, like kind of like do something crazy to make it look better. And I mean, I like, you know, you just like, it looks a lot better and uh, makes a difference. Long the build are you? Uh, I would say not halfway, between halfway and a third complete. Cause, cause the wing we still gotta do the wings, but like man, this is this is taking a while to do the. When I said eight hundred pieces, I I might have like been like a little underestimating it. It might be a thousand pieces actually, cause just this like um this body part is like really compact. I'll share with you on the on Instagram. I oh, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Gotta love your cheese slopes. They make everything look so much better. Look at that. Shape is really coming together. It's looking good. Oh, now you get to start working on the back. Let's do it. Is this the brick vault tie? Uh, yeah, it is. Gotta go, have a fun build. All right, build up. Uh, thanks for joining. Good to have you, bro. Okay, so unfortunately, I only have one of these red pieces. I don't know. Comment if you have if anyone has this piece at their house, but it's like super rare. I looked everywhere for this, like in my room and stuff. So we're gonna actually be using gray, which is a bit lame. I might swap it out if I find the piece, but for now, that's just what I have to do. I guess like the engines will be off if that makes sense. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit disappointing. Sorry for letting you guys down a bit. Okay. So like, yeah, like instead of being red, the engines are gray, but I think, I think it's, it's it'll be okay. Cause it'll be like, let's say like the TIE fighter is like not on the engines wouldn't be on. So I guess it works. Um, Oh no, my Lego piece storage container fell over and knocked over my trash bin. Ah, dude. Was it sorted or not? If it's sorted, that's horrible. If it's not, it's still horrible, but I mean, it's not, not the worst thing in the world. That's for sure. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, that rare piece comes in the Millennium Falcon. Seven. Is that the place that Millennium Falcon? For slipping the gunner seats into the well. Into very well. Oh, really? Okay. Um. Maybe I'll swap it out then later. Because I actually modified it. You know what, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if, if that actually works. Holy crap, this guy was not lying. Look at this, guys. He, he was right. All right, who, who said that? Um, yeah, shout out to Everin. He literally, I looked everywhere for this piece. And he he literally told me exactly where to find it, man. Dude, you are you are a hero, man. So everyone sub to Everin, please. <laughs> um, dude, that was crazy. Can't believe that just happened. All right. Um, can you help? Can you help me find this piece too? I'd I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Hi, just subscribed, saw this on Vision Bricks story. Ah, oh, thank you, A Fall for Life. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Vision Bricks, for uh, sharing this. Really appreciate it, guys. I mean, dude, this. Everett, you are a hero. Literally, look at this. And, well, okay, look, we made this look better, and we got the, the red. Amazing, dude. No, I hadn't sorted it yet, luckily, but it, it was going to be sorted. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Same. Oh, man, we got another person joining in. I go make Final First Battle Pack. I love your account, dude. You know, okay, so you know how it was like that that brief moment where everyone changed their, like, profile pic to, like, something, like, really random and stuff? I, I forgot what it was, but it was, like, I think you guys know what I'm saying, but, um... We should do the same thing and like tell Lego to make a 501st battle pack and like I'll put a 501st uh, figure on our on our uh, profile pic. See how Lego responds to that. Okay, need some more slopes. I can't think of it of a set without rounded curves. Sorry. Yeah, the only set I can think of is the crate set with the turret. So um, I, under I understand you. That's a that's a really hard piece to find. Hence why it's like like you can't even find out in Bricklink and stuff. It's really a shame. All right, on the twenty nine. Dude, you at 800, congrats. Wait, seriously? That quickly? All right, let me check this out. Crazy, we were like at what? 93 when we started? Holy crap, we did it. All right, guys, you know what that means? It's mod time. Whoever's here, we're gonna be making a mod. And, uh, congrats, uh, Star Wars Bricks Productions for being a good, uh, pre-moderator, I guess. 
And yeah, thank you everybody for 800 subscribers. That is awesome. Only 200 from 1,000, man. I'm getting really close. That would be nice if I could find a piece I was looking for. No way. Thanks, man. Hey, this is what... Maybe the version... Oh, what, maybe this version of a tie doesn't use the lipstick piece, but I'm pretty sure one of the versions use it because Ryan from Freakball mentioned it. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, that's, that's crazy. Let's go. Congrats, Star Wars. Okay, now I'm going to need, let's see. I think I might be missing a few more pieces again. This is like the problem when you're like doing a custom mock. You're always like, always like perhaps lost some pieces. Yeah, I probably did. Thankfully, I have it right here. Some more of these goodies. I feel bad now. I'm just kidding. I mean, if, if you don't want it, I, I mean, I'll let some other people be a mod too if you want. The next person I choose as mod, uh, it'll be like completely random. Or maybe I'll just do like the person, like the 800 subscriber will be the moderator. Who knows? A lot of people will probably just like unsubscribe and like resubscribe right, <laughs> right then though. Oh wow, another moderator just comes out of nowhere, Stormy Bricks. What's up, Stormy? Long time no see, dude. Just uh, building a little um, TIE Fighter thing. Such an honor to serve, such an inspiration. I love this guy. <laughs> Yo, Stormy. No, no, it's creeping mod. How's the motor motorized ATAT, -AT, Stormy? Yeah, that was probably my favorite. Yeah, dude, Storm, you gotta post another video, man. You've been waiting. It's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a great design. I would love to see like a motorized ATST without falling over. I'll be very impressed if you could do that. Um, let's see. Well, I'm gonna unsub and sub, so that makes me the 800 sub dabs. That is a dang it. <laughs> Congrats on 800. Yeah, dude, you had perfect timing. Like, right when we hit it, you just came. It was your presence that uh, got us over the line. We already finished the soundtrack. Okay, there's just like a pause or something. That was weird. What? Um. Okay, I, I don't know. That was weird. What's your favorite force ability? Hmm. I like when you like manipulate people. That's pretty. It's not like so funny. Yeah, that that'd be mine. That'd be mine. Uh, what's what's your guys' favorite force ability? What is up with this? 
It's like going off in a... I don't know what's going on. It's weird. Uh... I like ESP. Can you, can you explain that one? Not sure what that abbreviation stands for. Force jump. That's oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like force charge lightning. Yeah, Emperor Palpatine. He, he's, he's pretty badass. It's probably like my favorite villain to be honest. It's like so funny. My little green friend. <laughs> you ever like played him? Was like the best actor ever. Uh, what's up, Taito Kilbop? Something wrong here. I don't think I did something wrong here. Favorite Star Wars character? Wait, let's see. ESP is extra sensory perception. It's like Spider Man's sp uh, spider sense. Oh, okay. So like when Obi Wan can feel Alderaan filling up or something, it's cool. I'll just add the force so I can force choke people over the internet. <laughs> That'd be so funny though. Like, you're just like having an argument with someone like in the comments and just start choking him. That'd be scary though. Like, think about that. What's your favorite Star Wars character? Ah, oh, that's a hard question. Honestly, I can't say Boba Fett, but if I was gonna go off physical, like just, I don't know. I would say Boba Fett, but Han Solo. Yeah, I'd say Han Solo. He's, he's, he's a baller, you know? He's a legend, even though he's dead. We'll never forget. Dang Stormy XD. I'm on I'm on the self promotion. Uh, I just the force show people to make sure people stop hating on the last Jedi XD. Oh, I bet I better keep my mouth shut then. <laughs> when I'm talking about uh that movie. Little update on it. Um yeah, that's looking fine. Turrets are like kinda hard to like control though. Look at this. This is like so fragile right here in the front. My favorite is Luke Skywalker, yeah. Classic choice. Good answer, though. Um, mine is both Fett or Obi-Wan. Bit only because of the memes. Memes for the win, yeah, that's right. That's how we do it. Yeah, this is really delicate. Jeez. Unfortunately, I do not have the over these things so I might have to make like a modification to that a little unfortunate uh let's see and people who self promote these are the worst am I right galactic pricks <laughs> yeah you are you are right there so uh let's see oh my word I've gained free subs since being on the stream yeah, everyone's getting subs like it's raining subs today, guys. 
joining on the fun. Okay, now I need to attach the TIE Fighter on. Okay, I'm just... You know, I just realized something. This thing, um... Yeah, that's funny. I just realized this, this hatch thing, it doesn't go to anything. It's weird. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, um... Comments. Yo, Galactic. Uh, cue the music? What do you mean? <laughs> Anakin from Clone Wars 2003 is my favorite character besides Episode 3, Obi-Wan. Obviously because of the memes. Obviously the memes. Turning subs everywhere subs. True for Dare? Uh, uh, man... Dare. Jam bricks, okay. <laughs> it's raining uh, blue wrenches in the chat, too. Okay, so I'm just gonna try out the hatch thing. I'm just like curious to see how bad this is gonna look. All right, how, what would you guys rate this one to ten with this with this thing with the black cover? How's it look? Pretty good. Probably gonna have to you know um, swap it out with this. What's up, Saint John? Saint John. This thing's so fragile. This thing is annoying. You already know. And I'm liking this beat. This beat's nice. How do you attach this? It's so delicate. Okay. Back to the chat. What's your favorite Star Wars meme? Mime is the one where Plo Koon and a couple of clones are stuck in space and and one clone says to no one cares about the what clone says not to me. Oh yeah, I love that one. I dare you to sing Tis Raining Tacos but change it to its raining subscribers for 10 seconds. Just do it. <sighs> Alright. What's up if or if if Thor bricks? Only said Pokemon is Skiati Mundi and the clones are Wookiees. That is like that's my favorite that's a good meme. I like that one. I dare you to kiss a Gundark. Don't know what that is. Did you mean to say Gungan? I'm not kissing one of those. I dare you to marry Jar Jar Pinks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting a little out of hand. You should check out my Scarif mock. Is it I love Scare Mox, so yeah, I, I wouldn't mind checking it out. If I can get this thing to work. All right. Okay, so one really big negative. This thing is fragile as heck. Look at this. If it's gonna look good though, it'll be worth it. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it at the moment. Super fragile. Oh my gosh. It's gonna like break. This thing is very fragile. Uh, let's see. Awesome stream, man. Have you guys seen my tree building tutorial? Hi, Stormy. I have not seen it. Tree building tutorial. What type of tree is it? Do you have a dare? All right. I, I will. Wait. So, how's it go? Like, it's raining tacos. Wait, like that? I, I don't even really know the thing but I'll tr I'll do it no a gun dart from Clone Wars I think I know what you're talking about not super sure cool was it okay that's too far 
gone to 10 pranks done. All right. Tis raining subscribers. It's raining subscribers. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm never doing that again. What? What is that from? I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> okay, so this is like the hold it together, I guess. I guess that's why it's like that. All right, so this is the thing. It's looking pretty nice though, I have to say though. It does, it does look good. And then uh, we gotta attach this thing on to the bottom. I wanna see if I can readjust it so that Oh yeah, I'll, I'll leave it with the stupid thing on, but I will probably swap these out. Because this thing literally reveals nothing. But uh, as for that, I think we actually finished the base. Yes, clip it, clip it. <laughs> yeah, it was good. The inside tree looks scary though. What? It's Yeah, I don't know. It's raining. I've never heard of it's raining tacos. Hashtag Lucky Frick sings. Oh my god. Yeah, I cannot sing, guys. <laughs> cannot sing. Okay, this is important to look at to make sure I did it right. Needs to be higher up. Man, this is like so precise. All right. Interesting. And uh, what's it trying to say with this one? It needs to be all the way to the edge. Okay. Oh, so it's like got to be this precise to work. All right, let's see if I can get the cockpit in. You really don't get much room in the interior, which is a bit disappointing. It's fragile as heck. But at the same time, this image looks amazing. So I guess it's worth it. Hashtag Lifebreak Sings. Uh, 20 decapitated minifigure heads staring at each other inside of a tree. That's what I call scary. It got a bit dark. I think it my mind if I'm not careful. Yeah, if you're, if you're spamming. <laughs> can tie pilot, pilot helmets can let them see through the hull of their ships? It's a good question. Like, that's that's gonna be hard to like look for, you know? Um, well, I'm not tie fight tie fighter pilot, so I can't really um say. But yeah, that's being a tie pilot. That's a tough job, man. Tough life. Where do you get the tie instructions? I got it from uh, brickfault.toys. Just type that in, it'll show up. Bet of my desk chair broke off. Dang, you're having like a rough day. Like everything is breaking, dude. Um, congrats for 800. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, it's just an. Just not your day. Yeah, it really isn't. Uh, let's see. I still can't believe like I spent all this time. I'm still not done with the, the body of the ship. It's how, in, um, how compact the pieces are in the build. Every Thai pilot has tunnel vision. Yeah, probably so. 
That's why like like um TIE fighters like always get destroyed by like that's why like five TIE TIE fighters get destroyed by one Millennium Falcon. Because they can't really they have like really bad vision. They should like really redesign their stuff. Like the Empire probably wouldn't have lost. They would have just said, wow, what we did didn't work. But no, they just did the exact same thing. Built this built another Death Star. Probably should just try something new, you know? But I'm getting a dessert or something. I need food. <laughs> you call dessert food? Disgusting. Do you support Star Killer pay um, the Star Killer base equals Illum Fury? Not too sure what the Ill Illum Fury is. If that's what it's, what it is, but. Um, I think Star Killer base is really stupid. Definitely think that. <laughs> I support the high ground fury. <laughs> Me too. Me too. It's crazy how just four pieces missing, the back looks so bad. It's only four pieces. The four pieces I don't have are the most important. It's a shame. I did another oopsie, guys. The, uh, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be bricks on both sides. But, like, looking at this, it doesn't, you know, they should have, like, shown it like that. So, to clarify it, that's a little bit frustrating. Who has the high ground in the chat? Hmm. That's a good question there. I have a lava ground fury. <laughs> Anakin, the floor is lava. <laughs> Master Obi Wan was right. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm gonna go digging through to get. Another piece. Well, that's a bit frustrating. How am I supposed to know it's two studs on both sides? Really? So dumb. See, I might be able to cheese this. Let me see. Because... Mmm. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to cheese that. Shoot. My high ground because I'm a mod. Yeah, connection boil. Yeah. 
the 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 um the first comment on this chat it has the high ground. So whoever that person is has the high ground. That's I think that's how it works. <laughs> I'm going to film my second update for my windmill energy base soon. Sounds cool, dude. Um, chip builder. I don't know what is at the top of the chat, really. Yes, Inferno Egg has the high ground. Uh, Rebel Egg, look out. Coming in for you. It's actually so frustrating. Like, we're on a roll. Got all the pieces, and you know. Whoop de doo. It has to be both ways. It's like stupid. I'm gonna see. Yeah, I really can't continue building because. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Hey, we found a one piece. Okay, at least I can, I least I can like do it for one of them. Now I just gotta find seven more. Oh, found another one. If I, if I can only get four, then I'll just do the left side. It's actually so frustrating though. Um, got 96 subs now. It's awesome, dude. I identify as the high ground. I identify as the higher ground. How about that, St. John? Take that. It's over Star Wars bricks. I have the high ground. You underestimate my peace count. Ah, uh, someone needs to make that a meme. That, that's hilarious. Like the... The Death Star and like, um... The Tithe... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I had a good attempt, Everett. I'll be fair, it was decent, but didn't fool me. <laughs> Been a long time. Good to see you, Chris. Uh, good to see you, dude. Uh, don't try it. Hello again. Man. There's like no way to cheese this, because I need studs every on every single part. It's a really sad day. Man. All right, I'm gonna. All right, I'll look through my entire uh, sorting bin thing. This is what I was looking for. I'm just actually gonna set this down. But uh, I might have it. Hopefully, no. Because when I ordered the pieces, I made a mistake. It wasn't really a mistake though, it just was, it clearly was not showing those stud sides. Literally done everything I can. Okay, I still might be able to do something about this, let me see. Maybe, we got two. So what we what we really need is these two being fulfilled. So what I can do is take these. It's not gonna be pretty, but I can make it work. Looking for a store to captain. Hey, what's up, Jehun Choi? There's no way a TIE fighter is a is a whole day build, brick fault. Hold my beer. Yes, so true. So much gray. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of gray.
Okay, I didn't want to do this, but I have no choice. Okay, I think it can still work, because... Just gotta, I just gotta cheese the system. That's what you gotta do sometimes in life. It's not gonna be pretty though. Okay, I just need Literally, I just need uh, two that are like this. Gotta go digging again. I'm sorry, guys. I did not think this would happen. I was like certain out of all the pieces. Okay, so I've got this black piece. It's not gonna be pretty, but um, I don't know. For the sake of the stream, I'll I'll temporarily put that in there, and I don't know. Who knows? Maybe hopefully I'll find that piece. So much gray. That's right. What's up, H. Dubrick? Just built in um, this beautiful, beautiful beast. Uh, let's see. All right, now we gotta add. Where did okay? They put it there. Am I missing something? Okay. This is gonna be a this is gonna be so delicate because it's delicate already as it is, but. Now we have that issue that I mentioned. Mm. How do people design these things? Like seriously, this is crazy. Look how, look how you're supposed to like put up on just break it essentially. I'm just gonna do that. Congratulations! Sorry about that. Congratulations on 800 subscribers, pal. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, we actually hit on stream, and it, it was it was awesome. How does he do this? You know what the worst part is? I'm, I'm gonna have to redo this all when I get the correct pieces for this. The, um, is that correct? I don't think that's right. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like on the dot. Maybe I'm messing something up. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be like that, but it looks kind of off. I don't know, do you guys think that looks off? Sorry if my mom fist doesn't have a great funny image. I will buy a camera this week. Dang, that's nice. One, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe it's, maybe I'm just like overthinking it. I think it's right. Okay, now we gotta do the same exact thing on the other side. How fun is this? I'm gonna try another technique, a more subtle one. Get this done. Getting a super nice new computer next week. That's nice. Is it going to be a Mac?
Oh wow, that was a lot better for on the second go. Ooh, geez, that was stressful. <laughs> Hats off to Jarek, man, for designing this thing. I don't know, I don't know how it was designing that. Like, how do you even think of stuff like that? Seriously. Okay, so. Where, wait, where does this go? Is this your favorite tie variant? Um, probably, yeah, I probably would say the classic tie fighter is the best one. Never beat, you can never beat the classics, man. Now if I could just tell where this went. That would be very nice. Oh, it goes behind. Okay. Yeah, they they made that really subtle. Couldn't do better with that. Okay, so it's like to keep it from breaking. This is like so clever though. This is upside down building. And that is that is insane. Bravo, dude. No, but it has a huge storage and touchscreen, but I can still afford it because I'm, but I can still afford it because I'm broke. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is like so fragile. Jeez. Fragile. Yeah, this would never be a Lego set. Probably because of, just because of the cockpit, it's like can break pretty easily. But but yeah. Okay, I think I might be able to get away with it. I might even be able to get away with the black brick because I think they cover it, so that's that's nice. If I can get away with it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a ton more wedge plates. I have the same problem. I spent all my money on Lego. Yeah, I, I've pretty much stopped spending money on Lego at this point because I think I've I'm like enough. I'm only gonna spend money for like for big mocks, for like for you know pieces to finish something, but that's gonna be it at this point. I'm broke from Lego. Yeah, who isn't, honestly? Uh... Okay, I guess I'm missing some wedge plates. I don't know what's going on here. Go get some wedge plates. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this the last bit? Oh man, it goes a while until we gotta like bulk it up and all that. Okay, four times of this. Nice. Uh, okay, can do that. Put this on. Add a jumper.
Okay, let's see. Okay, four times this. Oh man, sweet. Hey Bubba Felt Lego, welcome to the stream. Did not know you were a mod. Maybe I just forgot. Jeez, this thing is like tight. I have to say though, this this right here is so clever. I'm not gonna have fun swapping that piece out. It's not gonna be fun at all. Uh, okay, another piece. Another piece here. Ah, uh, popped out. Woo! Looking pretty fine. I've got to say. Okay, just some simple plates. That's always good. Oh, it's so tight. Literally. Pretty impressed though. I was able to cheese this. I'm, I'm so happy with that. Still have to fix that one piece though, unfortunately. But uh, we are just about done with the uh, with this thing. Now I'm gonna need uh, two of these. Get a number two. <clears throat> Ba -ba -da. All right, put these uh, stickers on, or printed pieces, I guess you call them. So you're actually supposed to put binoculars. Let's see, it's an enemy base. You can see the first update on my channel. The filler is for rock work. You can remove me if you want. Oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, I probably won't, but I don't know, dude. Uh, what mock are you building it for? And he says the uh, energy base. You can see the first update. Okay. Sounds cool, man. Energy base. That's new. It's uh, clever. I don't have binoculars, so I had to use this piece instead. Which is a little disappointing, I guess. Um, now I'm going to need... One, two, three, four. Um, one more. Do, do, do. There it is. Man, these like wings are really nice. I mean, I had to say it. All right, I think I did something wrong here because, yeah, I definitely did something wrong here because look at this. There's, it's like, I did something, I messed something up here because look, a lot of space there, can't put anything on there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to re-go for that. Not know what I did there. Uh, but we'll, we'll move on with it and just, okay. So you're supposed to put these grates on. Do, do, do. Um. We're actually really close to finishing the body. But the funny thing is we still have so much gray left. It's crazy. I can rest it on there. And the last thing we need to do is add these four to the middle bit. Okay, easy enough.
I've got the parts ordered for the Brick Vault TIE Interceptor and they're on the way now. That's pretty cool resistance bricks. Uh, marfin 20 e says, what's up man? Uh, building this bad boy. Does it even look like Lego? I don't know. But um, yeah, yo Marfin. Um, doesn't really look like Lego, which is nice. It looks so good from a distance. Even though I don't really like how this, this thing looks. Obviously the color and the shape. So I might be swapping this out. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Let me get... Just looking for that one dot that is a uh, see-through. And I don't really have the time, honestly, for it, so I'm just gonna be lazy and take through this uh, pile of ordered parts. Again. Oof, when was it? Are you planning on fishing it, finishing it today? Uh, I'm not sure because I think we've been live for two hours. So, I don't know, like, look how many pieces are still here, and this is all I built, which is actually a lot, but it doesn't look like that much, to be honest. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, so here's the wings. I don't think the wings will take that long, but it's only like 10 steps, so that's what the finished uh, thing looks like, if you guys are curious. Um, yeah, I know it looks fine, doesn't it? But uh, crazy thing is there's only like ten, five more steps left, but it's like very repetitive and stuff. Um, nice. I'm destroying my huge TIE fighter base, and it's very long. Interesting. Fine, let's go. You could paint the top canopy. <laughs> That's a good idea. Or uh, put this piece on somehow. Uh, let's see. Does the cheese work? Yeah. I'm gonna have to slip. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is swap this piece out, put this on, and then, uh, yeah, put this on somehow. And then, what do you guys think I'm gonna be able to do for this thing? Because I don't have these two pieces. So, if you guys have any suggestions, like what piece I could use, like comment that. Because I'm gonna like. Um, I'm going to try and fix that. Because the only pieces I don't have are these four and this. But everything else I have. So I think we're in pretty good shape. And as long as you look from the front. But anyways, I will I think I'm going to end the stream here. Because this is a good stopping point. And we've been on for two hours or so. But um, that's the interior. Kind of hard to see. This is the top. It takes you to nothing. So I don't think it's really important. And... Uh, it's pretty realistic, all that stuff. I'll give you a spin. And uh, I'll read you guys' last comments. I guess call it a day then. I saw the parts. You probably didn't see these over there. But I hope you fix your smoke alarm. Sorry, what? Um, cool, great building, thanks. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to go now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for giving a like. Thank you for subscribing. I'll probably uh, do another stream soon, finishing this up. And uh, really appreciate all your support. We hit 800 subscribers, and 